and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. What's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys. And today, I'm just showing you guys my 35 win point yoink house rule rewards. Plus going over my pick and a little in-depth analysis on why I picked who I did and how I plan to go about using that on my team guys. I am really excited for this. I've been waiting for this guys. This was not easy. Let me be honest with you guys. I know you guys didn't really comprehend what I meant by this. I did not like these house rules. And it's not because it was hard. People were like, oh, you know, this exposed the bad Madden players. This is, uh, you suck at this. That means you're not good. This was easy. It wasn't hard to beat people. It was just so time consuming. Like, it was just too time consuming. And people were like, oh, but, you know, you got to work for it. Yeah, I'll, 20 games is working for it. 35 games is excessive. This took me like eight hours. You might not think it took me, it would take eight hours, but it does. I thought this would take like two, three hours max. Nope, eight hours it took me. It took me three days. And I understand like I have school and stuff and a lot of other things going on, so that's probably why, but like eight hours is eight hours about how you look at it. And for people who have like work and like a life and a family, I don't even know how you guys did. You guys probably didn't even do it. But let's go head out of this thing, guys, real quick. Honestly, probably my least favorite house rules ever. It took way too long. Too much time time was consumed doing this with YouTube and everything. There's our pack, guys. Before we get into this video, though, real quick, make sure to go smash that subscribe button, boys. We're at 9.7K right now. We are so close, so close to being at 10K subscribers, boys. So let's make it happen. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on that noti bell. Comment down below who you think I should take out of this pack. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, boys, for the 35 win house rules reward. This was not easy. This was not easy at all. I really hope that I'm do something like this again. And just not to mention, this, this mode just felt glitchy. Like, if a pass went out of bounds, you lost like two or three points. But it didn't say that in the scoring, unless I'm just dumb. A lot of things didn't happen. They should have had, a, and by the way, they should have had rewards for sacks. Nothing was more frustrating than the fact that people would just take sacks. Like, even I started doing it, just take the sack. You can't lose points. So you actually didn't want to apply pressure. You wanted to let them get balls off. Which was just kind of frustrating. You like you, it was out of your control what would happen half the time. If there was sacks as points, people would just wouldn't take sacks. They'd have to throw it away and make the games a lot quicker. But by not by allowing there to be sacks, people would just take their sacks and then punt the ball. They take four straight sacks, punt the ball, and then I had to play off and do the same thing. It got kind of boring. That's what was, that was the worst part. It was boring. It wasn't fun to play. I did not enjoy playing this one like I enjoyed playing like tug of war and overtime rules. But let's open up this pack, guys. Now I'm gonna go over a few of the guys that I kind of want to take from this pack and who I'll probably end up taking. And then I'll put him into my team in power, whichever one I get up. Obviously, Jalen Ramsey and Saquon are at the top of my list, most likely. But I'm going to go over every guy on why I think you shouldn't just not take him. So, Matt Stafford, I think that's a no. Not a guy you're going to want all year. Not a guy you probably even want right now. Not even a top five quarterback right now. David Johnson, awesome running back. But there's just better options in this pack at running back, so I wouldn't recommend him. Brandon Cooks, a lot of people have said this. He's great right now. Great speed right now. Great catching right now. Pretty good route running. But I think within a few weeks or so, most of your drops will not even be a, you won't even be a top five wide receiver. Adam Thielen, way too slow. Witten, way too slow. Greg Olson's actually really nice. I do have him, but his speed's okay. I think he's really good, but again, he's going to be phased out by the next 10 ends even drops. I don't think he's going to last too long. Mitch Morse is not that great. I have him, and I don't I don't like how his pass blocking is like really low. And his run blocking. I feel like a center should have really good run blocking too. His pass blocking isn't really low, but like I feel like they should all be at least above 90s if he's 90 overall with decent run blocking. David Bakhtiari's run blocking is too horrendous. You can't even run block with him. David DeCastro is amazing. I really do like him. I have him already, but I'd rather have him as an auctionable than that. Although he's a lineman. So it would be cool to be able to get rid of him when I was done with him. Or as a knack guy, you can just keep him. Melvin Ingram, from what I've seen, if you put him on the right team with the right cams, he does look pretty insane with that finesse move. But not my pick. De'Aaron Payne, defensive tackle. Although I'd like taking defensive tackles, there's too many good options in this pack to pass up on. Bobby Wagner, a guy that typically you think would be good, but I think Bobby Wagner's done for the year. I think Madden has him so far behind. Like, you can just tell by the trend. Madden has him so far behind in the speed category. He's getting an 83 speed for his second card when most people's first card had above that. So I think he's going to be behind speed the whole year, which is going to limit like the potential of how good these cards could really be. Especially when they're giving us guys with uh, 87 and 88 speed free. So, it's going to be really hard. Then we got Xavier Howard. He's a lockdown corner, but there's better corner options. Chris Harris, same thing. Really good corner, better corner options. Too slow, and then not good enough. I believe it is zone or man. Was it man? His man coverage isn't good enough for me. Especially with guys like Willie Brown for cheap that are similar. LaMarcus Jordan is actually really good. Good speed, decent hit power, good zone, good man, good play rec. He's a really good card. He's just a little too tiny, 
And personally, I don't think he's the best safety. He's not going to be the best safety for long. Mike Evans, way too slow. You can't be giving this guy 85, 84. So, like, they're giving him a speed where most receivers... When the game dropped, receivers with an 85 speed were considered slow. Like, DeAndre Hopkins was considered slow. So, why would they think dropping this in October would be a good idea? Delaney Walker is awesome, but not as a main guy. He's more like a complimentary run blocking tight end. Jamal Adams is one of the best picks from this whole entire pack. The only issue is that I have Pat Tillman. DeForest Buckner, awesome card. Saquon Barkley, most likely going to be my pick. Going to go through the pack a little bit more, but... You can't go wrong with Saquon. I have him powered up ready too, so I'll probably power him up for you guys. We got Joel Batonio. Um, for him, again, guys, not worth it. I don't like his stats enough. JJ Watt, too low of block shed. Kyle Fuller, his man coverage is too low. He's really amazing, though. In the right team with the right cams, would be a top-tier cornerback. It all depends on your team, though. Drew Brees, just don't recommend taking a quarterback from these packs. Tyler Board, too slow. Malik Hooker is actually amazing, guys. He's really good. He's one of my top picks. Jalen Ramsey. Probably, I'm either ranking him one or two. He's one A and one B with Saquon Barkley. I'll probably end up taking him from the solo challenges. Mitchell Schwartz, I don't like him. Dante Hightower, too slow. Deion Jones, I have uh, Shazier and Devin White. And then Fletcher Cox is actually pretty good, but his block shed, what I believe was a little too low for me at an 80. Yeah. So Jalen's definitely going to be the next pick. I'm going to have to go with Saquon for now. Really excited to take the Saquon Barkley, guys. I am like, I'm happy they finally dropped him. I've been saying since the day I started back in August that Mud Heroes is going to bring us to Saquon Barkley and I'm going to power him up. And here's the day, guys. Let's go power him up real quick and go see what cams and abilities he can get. I haven't really checked or heard on Twitter what he can get. It probably isn't that insane considering no one's really talked about it. But I am really excited to finally get this card. Let's go on down, power him up. I don't know if I should give him jukebox or evasive. And depending on what he can get at the final slot, I guess it depends on that. So let's toss him into here. Saquon Barkley, 92 overall halfback finally. Let's see his x factor You can get Wrecking Ball, first one free, rack him up, free train satellite. I'll probably end up going free train. Yeah, I don't know. Freight Train or Wrecking Ball. I have not decided on that yet. Now, abilities. He can get Evasive, Pin and Pull Guru, Leapfrog, Clutch, Backfield Mismatch, Jukebox, and Spin Cycle. Let's see. For Arm Bar, what do we need? We need a 95 Stiff Arm, which you cannot get. Bulldozer, 95 Trucking. Okay, so nothing he can get really here. Running Back Apprentice. Do enjoy 600 being insane when they finally release that. So I guess I'll probably go Evasive. All right, can I get Leapfrog in the second one? Yeah, so I probably end up going evasive on him because I could put jukebox in the second, but then what would I put in the first one? Pin and pull, no. Leapfrog. I'll probably end up going. Let's see. I'll probably go evasive and then leapfrog. Let's see how much leapfrog costs here. Leapfrog costs 800. So I, I'll probably end up doing that. I'll probably end up fumbling a lot on that, but I'll do it anyways. Unless I went spins, no. There's really no reason to go anything else there. Let's see what I can get in the first one. Jukebox goes in the first one. Okay. So actually, Jukebox goes in Jukebox and go in the first one. What can I put in the third that he can't get otherwise? Unless I give him like pin and pull guru, but I don't really I don't know how I feel about that one. I'm gonna have to do some gonna have to do some research on this one. This is a confusing pick here. I, I wish he had some, if he had one better option like Bruiser or something, that'd be awesome. Why doesn't he have the bru oh cause his archetype, right? Yep. Alright. So let's back out of this real quick. Wait, what's that? What's that one? Inside zone guru. That would have been really cool. I love inside zone. But sadly, he does not get a lot of the things I was hoping he'd get. But it's still just fine, guys. Let's go check out his stats real quick in the lineup and see how this card's looking. Let's see. He's got 94 carrying. Wow, okay. So this guy's hopefully not going to fumble. He's got some pretty insane stats. Let's compare him to Marcus Allen real quick. See what he's looking like. He beats Marcus Allen in every stat but trucking. So hopefully this guy is a monster. Hopefully I can feel that agility, that acceleration is probably going to be huge. And that speed going to be a big upgrade over Marcus Allen. I'm really hyped for this. Got to go get some training after this video and go power him up, guys. And like I said, guys, if you don't want to go Saquon Barkley, the next best option for me, you're going to be Jalen Ramsey. I have him ready to go right over here somewhere. 89 Jalen Ramsey. The second I finish the solo challenge, guys, I will make a video for you guys. I'll go over how I finished them quickly, what I went to do through them, maybe some of the riddle plays. If you guys still need help on that, I'm going to imagine you guys figured that out already. And I will show you guys me probably taking Ramsey. I think that's the most logical pick for me. And then once I'm done with all that, time to go compete in Weekend League and try out the new Saquon Barkley, guys. But that is about it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, boys, for the 35 wins, the grind. I feel bad for anyone who still has to get this done. I'm so happy I'm finally done with this. If you haven't already, comment down below who you're going to be taking from this pack if you still have to finish it or who you did take from this pack. I want to see what most people took. I feel like it's definitely Saquon or Ramsey, but it's still interesting to see. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button, boys. So close to 10K. Let's make it happen as soon as possible. I'm super hyped. We are 300 subscribers away. That's literally probably like three or four days away from hitting 10K. I'm so, this is crazy, guys. Thank you for all the support. Make sure to turn that noti bell, and I'm out, guys.
Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out the rest of the videos today. We're going to have a content video for, we're going to have a mutt 10 video, a content video, this rewards video, and maybe another video depending, maybe a pack opening depending on, I have some monthly rewards ready for you guys. But that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.